Next couple of exercises are really good for working on your upper body posture. Um, first one is called knee rows, and you just lie with your knees bent up, feet and knees together, and take the arms out to the sides, palms facing upwards, at a level which is comfortable for you to keep them on the ground. So it might be down here, or it could be further up. Um, but try and keep the shoulders away from the ears. Slightly press your lower back into the mat and roll your knees one way and turn your head the other way. And take a deep breath in. And then breathing out lightly, pressing your lower back towards the mat and your head. Again, goes in the opposite direction to your knees. Take a deep breath in. Using your breath out, pressing the lower backs towards the mat. And the idea is that the deep breath in here opens up tightness through the chest and helps those shoulder blades get used to being back and down more. And you do about 10 of those to each side. You can progress that to get more of a stretch by reaching the, the hand that's on the side that you're looking towards, reach that arm back behind. Again, press the lower back towards the mat and go to the opposite side. So by reaching the arm back behind, you're getting more of a stretch again, but make sure that it's comfortable to do that. Now, then you can do another exercise where you're lying onto your tummy and you're face down and bringing the arms down by your sides. And you're going to roll your shoulder blades back. You want to keep your, your lower back safe by hugging in your tummy muscles. So the pubic bone is imprinted into the mat. And roll the shoulder blades back and hover the arms. Your lower shoulder blade muscles are working, the back of the arms are working, and you're reaching the fingers towards the wall behind. You can hover the forehead just off the mat. Breathe in to hold and breathe out to slowly lower. And when you're learning to do this exercise, want to maybe just do one at a time and then rest and we'll do about 10 in a row but as you feel you're getting stronger at it you can challenge yourself a little bit more by doing some pulse movements so you can pulse the arms up and down five times for the breath in five pulses for the breath out or thereabouts Maybe another breath cycle there. Until you feel you've challenged the strength of the back of the arms and the lower shoulder blades and relax down. And you could do eight or ten sets of those. And after that, you want to stretch out the muscles that have worked. So you can um, get back onto your heels and just stretch out there into the shell stretch. So the hands across to one side, take a deep breath in and breathe out to relax back and then across to the other side. Making sure that you're not um, forcing the shoulder into the movement but you're just getting working as far as you can see a really nice stretch. And then back to the middle and on the curl. And there are the kind of exercises um, that you can do every day um, to hopefully feel a bit more open through the chest and allowing the shoulder blades to relax back and down. The other thing is to do a little stretch for the side of the neck because tension there will tend to pull you out of a good position. So you can do some side stretches there, maybe even allowing the weight of the hand to just add to the sensation of stretch as far as you feel comfortable. And turn your head towards the shoulder and relax the head down on curling up and then down to the other side again if you feel comfortable enough to add, just add some of the weight of the hand to guide it, you into the stretch a bit more you can turn your head towards the shoulder on that side and on curling and down and up and that often leaves you better able to have good, better posture around the shoulders. So work away at those and try and get a bit of 
daily release to that upper body posture.